Hi and welcome to this uh, portrait uh, painting tutorial with audio comment. I will in this video I will show you a little bit uh, how I do small details in a very tiny portrait. I actually painted this in 2012 and it was uh, one of the first videos I posted on my late uh, YouTube channel which I had. It was ha first hacked then uh, stolen and then deleted by Google so this channel is new so please give a thumbs up leave a comment and tell me what you think there's also many other uh, uh, painting tutorials on my channel so please sign up and help me rebuild anyway in this uh, one of the reasons I'm using this video which is quite old is to talk about a topic that uh, I get a lot of questions about and that is how I build skin tone and uh, many people especially if you are not that skilled in painting yet you will buy stuff like flesh tint or they will make the skin kind of reddish or kind of one one uh, tone but you have to know that the skin the skin tone that you are painting in this particular photo or in a person actually it doesn't I mean if you are painting a black person it is a totally different tone you have to use on the on the palette than if you are painting let's say a redhead which has a totally pale skin this girl uh, is basically Caucasian uh, blue-eyed and has kind of blondish hair very Nordic and she has the kind of skin that I will call uh, Bunna like a farmer girl skin she's very typical Norwegian and she has all the all the uh, different colors in her skin especially in the reddish and the greenish and some orange but also yellow now it is not the skin of a redhead which will be almost in the blue and yellow or violet yellow uh, greenish very very bright greenish but uh, this girl has more uh, a little bit more tone but are usually red uh, uh, blueish in the shadows and um, yellow orange in the bright areas also it depends what kind of light you see her in of course that also affects it so there is no actually a recipe to what is skin color one of the most important things you have to think about when you are painting a, a portrait of, of someone is that you have to differentiate the difference different layers of paint and of course also if you use the primary colors one place you have to use the tertiaire or the, the mix between those two colors uh, like if you are painting something um, a place which is kind of in the orange or yellowish the shadow will be in the violet or bluish or maybe even green if there is something red uh, nearby so the whole thing of building skin is actually the same way as you would paint any other object that is why i say there is never a single tone or a single recipe of creating skin what you have to think about when you are painting a face is you have to paint in di directions you have to mold the face as it was a sculpture and that is the way rembrandt did it that is the way the classics did it and uh, instead of painting one uh, monogamous or whatever you call it uh, tone you have to basically paint in the whole uh, rainbow of colors and if you keep it clear also in the in the bright area you can actually see it in this uh, in this uh, painting that in the cheeks and uh, high uh, places in the face you're not a more sculptor I have placed some strategic textures to kind of build out the shape it is basically like I should have a stone and build a, um, a relief 
Actually, that is something I wondered starting to do. Actually, start carving out reliefs from from both uh, wood and from uh, stone. But I'm not getting there yet, so I'll just see what happens. Uh, here you can see I'm also painting on the shoulder there with uh, with uh, with, uh, with all the small details in in that dress, and it's basically the same thing. I I I try to to paint the details but I also try to dissolve them at the same time and that is also one of the most important things you do in a portrait you have to you have to you have to put in the textures and uh, the high parts or the high brushwork strategically you can't just add in a lot of texture and hope you can't use the same amount of texture in the background you know if you look higher, uh, behind her here you see the hair is quite dark uh, I have uh, kept the texture down in the background then I have a little bit more texture on the, on the other side uh, but the 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 way for me to build this into basically a relief is to keep it down behind use the shadows use the primary colors use mix them uh, and also try not to use too much black uh, always if you're going to use black always mix in some other colors like if there is something reddish mix in some red mix in some blue if you want some more you know, toned down green you can actually mix yellow different yellows into the black and it will turn into a greenish tone so there's so many things you can do but when it comes to creating skin you have to try to stay in uh, in the clean uh, parts of the, uh, the the scale so you don't want to use too much um, earthy colors uh, in, in a face because then you will probably just kill it you know uh, you will it will feel dirty and it won't feel like uh, sunlight or whatever light hits the skin it will just feel like it's yeah like it's yeah basically dirty dirtied up so try to keep it clean mix mix your colors from the color circle if you want a shadow for instance you want a shadow in some you have some red and or something you mix a shadow that is basically a little bit against the blue and greenish to be kind of a tertiaire or complementary color to the reddish and then you have to kind of uh, on the other side you have to lift up the red to to kind of get more more things to happen and then you have to probably mix in some yellowish or yellow color to make it come alive and be a contrast to to as you can see here the shadow in on her nose is kind of in the blue and then you have the some orange and yellowish and then reddish and then it goes over to the darker reds and then into the blue again and that is the way you actually paint a painting or paint a portrait i hope this made it a little bit more uh understandable i will actually do some small portraits now and talk only about these things because you guys are probably interested in hearing about more than existentialism and stuff like that in my videos i will try to make some on point uh videos about different colors and stuff so I hope you enjoyed and uh, please visit my uh, uh, Patreon and sign up for a dollar or five. If you do, I will help you evolve your painting and become your mentor. So please go there, check it out and I hope to see you there. And remember, thumbs up, leave a comment and I hope to see you in my next video, which is coming up soon. A lot of videos are coming out, so stay tuned.